Hi, everybody. Are you there, Kelly? I'm here, but all I see is the thumbnail screen. I check. I Well, I can everybody see us? Because I did take it off. Oh, they can see us, Kelly, because Julia said, look at those hats. Okay, well, apparently we're having a little trouble with Kelly's internet again, but um, hi, everybody. Welcome to our pajama party. Um, let me know how the sound is, if you can hear me. Hopefully, Kelly's going to be back in a minute. Okay, Sarah, you can see us, but Kelly just disappeared. Okay, I'm sure she's fighting with her, her court right internet at the moment, so hopefully she'll be back on shortly. But hi, everybody. We're so glad that you joined us tonight. We're ready for our little um, pajama party. Uh, you saw in the introduction that we basically had um, no sound. We thought it would be nice just to have some peace and quiet and calm after Christmas. So it was just a nice little calm intro. So I'll just go through here and say hi to everybody. You guys have been in here for a while, and that's awesome. So I see everybody's got their pajamas and their food and their drink ready, and we're going to have an amazing time tonight. So hi, Luana, Kathy, Wendy, Lise. Um, Karen, Sherry, Gwen, Trudy, Joan, Donna, Pat, Cheryl, um, Beth, Sue, Kim, Amanda, Glenda, Barb, Carol, Catherine, Sarah, um, let's see, Belinda, we've got Jan, Emily, Sheila, Jess, Jan, Teresa, we've got Beth and Barb and Peggy, Kimmy, Heather, Jackie, Janie, uh, let's see who else is here. We've got Sheila. Hi, Sheila, all the way from London. Yeah, I saw that you made it there, so I'm glad that you got safely there. Um, hi, Heather, Rebecca, Janet, Julie. Uh, we've got um, Melanie. Hi, Marianne. Um, we've got TB, Kenan, Rosemary, Margaret, Jackie, Susie, Pat, Heather. <laughs> Linda. Okay, everybody, if I missed anybody's name, I apologize. Oh, we've got Helene, um, Rosemary, and you guys are all chatting among here, and you're all ready to have a great pajama party. Well, let's just hope my internet allows me to stay to the party. Maybe that was my hint to leave early, but hey. <laughs> okay, okay. so okay. we're coming to you from Southwestern Ontario. We are Knits and Pieces. So we are a mostly knitting podcast, but this is our Tuesday night knit chat where we never know what we're going to talk about. So we're here in our jammies. So we're all ready for bed after the show. <laughs> and we're here to celebrate with you. Absolutely. So. We're here in uh, a pair of amazing hats too that Noel knit and surprised me with. I love it. Um, so you might remember from our last podcast, I made one for Miles and she surprised me with one of my own today. And I thought <laughs> that I wouldn't like it, but I actually really like it. I really like it. It's, it's I cool. think it's super cute. It's really soft and yeah. I'll be able to twin when Miles gets here. So Kendall better not steal it and take it home. I love it. Well, but I was, Zoe was here when I was knitting it and she wanted one and I, it's just made out of the loops and threads impeccable and like one skein of each color like i can probably do three more hats mm -hmm. so Absolutely. there's lots of yarn in it so yeah so it's actually i like it i like it too <laughs> so i, I like think it was i forget the the pattern was called elf hat i can't remember who it's by but it, on our last podcast i think fox, it's linked fox in and the, pine fox and pine okay, fox and pine so yeah. yeah so thanks everybody yeah anyway so we should get this party started kelly so okay we are here for it <laughs> with our fancy bottles. Our I have little... crystal stemware and a screw cap because okay, I'm fancy so we're like that. Get ready for a toast. Okay. And we'll see how well this goes. We're hoping these are screw tops. Otherwise, <laughs> if not, we're in trouble. I want the saber to go like this. <laughs> I have a keyboard in front of me and yarn all around me. Ah, I can't get that done. I got mine. Come on, mini mighty muscles. Get I can't, going. you know what? I have abs no, there I got it. There I go. have absolutely terrible grip strength. But when, when wine's involved, I make the effort. 
it's pretty in the glass. It is pretty. It's such I have a no pretty idea. pink color. Like, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be like nice to have you some yarn that color? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was thinking, what's that noise? It's the bubbles. <laughs> Just a minute. I'm not done. Okay. Well, we can toast. Okay. Oh, I think we've been frozen. Everybody's saying we're frozen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we still frozen? Let us know if everything goes back. No, it says they unfroze. Oh, we yes, unfroze. Yes, I know, but I think we were frozen for a while. Uh oh. Noelle is flagged. Flagged with what? Now I'm really worried. We were really worried about I'm this. I'm flagged? Tonight. Why am I flagged? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay, not frozen. Good for. Okay, well, let's keep going. Just keep us post, posted, people. Yeah, just if let us know. Strange things happen. Just let us know. Anyway, um, make a toast. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm flustered. I'm flustered. To, <laughs> to a new year and an awesome this year. Well, an awesome as it could be this year with everything that went on in the world. But because we got to spend it with you guys, it was an awesome year. Absolutely. So we want to thank everybody for joining us. We've had a wonderful time. Um, we just love Tuesday nights and talking to everybody. And we're so glad that you're joining us for this. And I think we should do this. <laughs> you're getting really brave now. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. Clangy. <laughs> oh, oh, there. There. I did it. I did it. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I can drink it. Do I have to turn the confetti burst off or do we keep it on all night? I didn't even see the confetti burst. So now I'm just really concerned that. Okay. That it's we not did have the well. confetti burst. Everybody else is saying cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers to a better 2022, right? Right. Yes. As far as the pandemic, but we are ready. We have wonderful friends to help us get through it. So. <sighs> Okay. Anyway, so we are here in our pajamas and we're happy that so many of you sent us a little picture of yourself in pajamas and doing your knitting. So maybe we should play that now, Kelly, before <laughs> in case things go. You're scaring me now. Okay, I just hold, feel your like breath. Gonna go wrong. hold your breath. Hold your breath. Just one second. I'll have to bring it in. Keep talking a minute. Okay, I'll pour the rest of my my champagne into my glass. The rest? My goodness. Are you drinking an entire bottle? It's a 200 milliliter bottle, <laughs> but I do have a reserve.
Okay. Awesome job, Kelly. <laughs> no, awesome together. for everyone sending in photos. My gosh, thank you so much. It was uh it was a fun, it was a pleasure to put together. I hope you don't mind your first names all being up there. I just thought it was a great way to introduce some names to faces. Um, it is, it's nice for us to see because you guys see us all the time, but we all, we can't always put um, like a name to a face. So it was really nice to see pictures of everybody. Yeah, so I hope if we do it next year, we'll have even more. <laughs> okay. We should have we a summertime need... pajama party. <laughs> We'll do something. We can do something. Yeah. I'm just, I, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled that everybody would participate like that. And mm -hmm. Sarah, I don't know why that was stressful for you. Your picture looked amazing. That should be your Christmas card. I loved it. All mm -hmm. of the pictures were great. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody for, uh, for joining in and just, well, and heartfelt thanks. Like you've made our year great. You really mm -hmm. have. And We've said it before. We're going to say it again. We have the best people in this community. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers to all of you. Okay. Oh, oh hi, Sheila. Sheila's tuning in. She's know, away. She made She's it out to see her daughter. I'm so happy for her because it was sort of um, touch and go yeah. whether she was going to be able to make it. And I'm so thrilled that you can get out there. June wants a summertime bikini party. I will not be putting <laughs> no, a bikini not in, that. not in that. Well, only a headshot. <laughs> yeah, bikini from here up. Um, it's yeah. I mean, seriously, I, I, how long have we been doing this a year now? The, the Almost live, a year for the a live year? Yeah. and you were afraid to go live. And here yep. we are sitting here tonight in silly hats and we are on, on, on the tube with pajamas on so yeah, yeah. No. Anyway, anyway yeah. i saw a message back there kelly that that kendall said that miles is here for the pajama party oh really i missed that one <laughs> darn and now he's seen his hat that was i know now front. that just ruined the surprise <laughs> okay so kendall if you're still watching you do not get to take this hat home just so you can twin and grandma kendall, gets to twin kendall, kendall miles. tell miles to act surprised when he gets his hat <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretend you haven't seen it miles so we are um let me see what's the t date today 28 we're like yes. 14 days away we are two weeks and counting till i get to squeeze those little cheeks again yeah. i'm so excited so yeah. excited i am um, yeah i we had we did have all three girls here over the the on christmas day for dinner and but telling you trying to get a picture of all three of them together in their dresses <laughs> It was supposed to be easier because now they're older. Oh, it was not. I'll show you the, the ones that we got here. Where are we? Okay. <laughs> so there's one. You can't even see Zoe there in the middle. <laughs> and <laughs> there, that one's a little better, but they're not sitting close together. And then we got a few little individual ones here. So there's Zoe and they all got headbands. So they've got those on. Oh, that's just so. And there's Isla with her papa. This is Ross. If everybody oh, doesn't Ross, know Ross. Yeah, okay. Everybody doesn't know. And then there's Molly. Oh, so they oh really, my gosh, they really, they're precious. They're precious. They, um, they really turned out cute. And I actually talked to Zoe today. She was on, they called me and she actually had her dress on. She asked Jacqueline if she could wear it again. So Aww. score. <laughs> Can you can you tell everybody what Zoe did for your family for Christmas that I got to see a little bit of? Oh, Zoe. Zoe's <laughs> got her own YouTube channel. It's just a private channel, but she's got her own YouTube channel and she did an unboxing video. And at the end of it, she was telling everybody, she goes, come on, people, describe. <laughs> <laughs> for all the describers out there, if you like what you see. <laughs> That's right. And how old again is Zoe? She turned four in October. Hmm. So... She's yeah. not shy. She's not. I know people remember her from the beginning when Jacqueline and I were doing the podcast and she was relatively quiet. Then and Jacqueline's relatively quiet. And Zoe, Zoe does not take after Jacqueline. She's a little uh she, firecracker. A little she needs to be in theater when she just gets a little, you know, a little bit older. She needs to be in theater. Yeah. So okay, well, we have <clears throat> We have okay. I had what did I do with it? <laughs> okay. I'm working on my muscle bra hat. I'm working on my muscle bra hat. Yours is bigger than mine. <laughs> I'm I am at the end of my increase. Well, no, I have one last increase to do, and then I'll just be knitting down on the tube. So there we go. That looks good, Kelly. I like the bullseye. 
I do too. <laughs> just, just hold it in the middle, not over to one side. <laughs> I know. But I think it's going to look really nice as a hat. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this. Yeah. Mine's, and yours mine's, is really coming along. Yeah, I weighed mine. I've used 40 grams, so I'm almost halfway. So that's... Gosh. And I mean, I only pick it up. Like, really, I only pick it up rarely because I've had too many other things that I had to get done. So... Yeah. So what's everybody else working on? Is anybody actually knitting tonight? <laughs> Jess said that she finished the sock that she was working on in her photo and she's oh, going to post that on Ravelry. Uh, somebody was working on curio socks. I saw um, mm, reading down. Uh, You're very welcome, Deborah. <laughs> she said, thank you for that. Um, is anybody I mean, else working on a sorry, I didn't get this finished yeah. by Christmas project. Yep. Well, technically my Christmas has not happened yet. So I need to tell everybody too, this is a funny, this was my Christmas morning. So <laughs> apparently I don't live with Scrooge. I just thought I did. So we, and we've had this conversation. This was not something thrown at him. We got home Christmas Eve and he said, oh, do you want your gift tonight? And I said, well, no, Christmas isn't happening for us until... Kendall and Derek and Miles get here and we're all going to get together as a family. And then he, again, Christmas morning, he said, well, do you want your Christmas gift now? And I said, again, it's not happening yet. And he's like, wow, this is such a disappointment. And this is the man that doesn't like to shop for Christmas gifts. He, <laughs> he, he thinks it's just a lot of effort at Christmas to go to. And he's like, this is such a disappointment. I'm just going to be just, this is going to be forever known as the Christmas that didn't take place. And I'm like, oh, for heaven's sakes, this, we all knew this was going to happen, but Anyway, okay, what have we got going on? Elizabeth is already working on Halloween socks. Yay, wow. Elizabeth. That's... Um, Heather's working on dad's present. Oopsie. Uh... Becky's working on the snuggle is real. <clears throat> Karen's not knitting. She's just eat, drinking and eating chocolate. Yay. <laughs> yes, everybody was chiming in before the show started and saying what they brought for munchies getting a little hungry. I know, I know, I know. I didn't want to bring munchies because, you know, like how we feel about the crinkling of paper over a microphone. So I can only imagine what me munching on For snacks, but your snacks all nachos. sounded great. So. Nachos. Nachos and champagne. <laughs> but you know what? Chips are really good with champagne. What kind? What Miss flavor? Vicky's. Miss Vicky's. <laughs> Is there a certain flavor? Plain. Plain. Anyway, so Linda's spinning. And Elaine's doing the no frills. Jackie says she's doing slow stitching. She says, I'm bad. That's not bad. You can do whatever you want when you're when you're out with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's everybody else? Oh, Glenn is in bed with hubby snoring next to her. Uh -oh. <laughs> Party pooper he is. Couldn't stay up. <laughs> Couldn't stay up to watch the ball drop. Well, at least he's got his pajamas on. <laughs> the yarn balls drop. Um Valerie oh, Julie says she's got she got a little loom for Christmas, so she's taking a break from knitting tonight to try that out. I think other people are working on muscle burrows too. Someone said that they that they were they were embarrassed that they hadn't knit a muscle burrow. This is our first. We haven't finished one. Technically, Kelly and I have not done one. <laughs> we are just working through it. Technically, I'll likely be knitting on this for a very long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will all likely still have muscle burrows before me. So I'm gonna. I want to use this as my knit chat project and I have knit, I think a sum total so far of six stitches tonight. So yeah, don't expect it to be speedy. Um, Anna, says, Anna says she's knitting Croy socks in three by one rib. Um, I went, I actually went through my yarn and I pulled out all my Croy for, for my lucky tip for next year. And I don't have to buy any. Imagine that <laughs> I had more than enough. <laughs> so I liked Ross's comment today. What was it? Does yarn have an expiry date that you have to knit it up by? Like, is it is it not fresh after <laughs> oh, a certain be, period of time? Or... Before date. <laughs> oh, this one's expired. I better buy a new one. Oops. <laughs> Used before. That's right. Uh, oh, gosh. Now I can't see the two stitches I increase at. Okay, there we go. Oh, Sue said she's falling down another rabbit hole. She just got a smocking pleater. Jacqueline had this adorable little all smocked dress that my friend made for her when she was little. You hardly see those anymore. Well, like now the even all smocked dresses in the fabric stores, though, they sell pre smocked fabric. It takes okay. all the work. No, this out of was it. all this was all hand smocked and it was so cute. 
Luann is working on socks. Oh, Leanne's working on the hide and peek pullover for her husband. Wow, lots of different things. I know I haven't actually started, haven't actually started what I consider a new cast on for me. I did these, but these weren't really were a new cast on. And I had to get, I have to get a baby sweater finished. So I worked on this. So this is the little antler cardigan by Tin Can Knit. So this is the size two to four. So I have to get this finished by the end of the week and I'm going to do the hat to go with it. And then after that, before we get into next year, I am going to cast on a new sweater, I think, maybe. <laughs> I think I'm really far behind you in comments. I think my internet never did catch up, but. Oh, I've just gone down. If, if anybody really has something that put in there, put it in there again, because there's a lot of comments in here. We're having trouble getting through them all. He was knitting so. a fern and feather. That's, Ooh, that's a nice one. You I, want to do that one, right? With your... my, yeah, I actually did a gauge swatch too. Oh, did it's you? ready to go. I was thinking after Christmas, that would be my, my start. So Iowa, you'll, oh, the wine is catching up with me. Iwa, you will probably be finished yours before me for sure. Oh, Valerie says the color play pullover is awesome. I think that's one by Beth McDonald Stone. Susan says her, uh, the yarn, the yarn she's knitting with is well-aged. Okay. <laughs> It's like wine, you know, got to buy it and keep it. <laughs> oh, Cheryl said that Michael's had a 50% off. So now she's set for socks. Yay. 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 I, um, people kept calling me like my daughter and telling me that like knitting loft had 20% off and, um, unit had 20% off and I'm so proud of myself. I did not, I did, I did look, I did look, but I didn't buy, I didn't buy. That's because I've, I've got yarn that I've got to put away. So I'm going to show you a picture of all the yarn, the yarn on my, <laughs> that I'm working on putting away. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if I really want to show this on. There's no shame here. You know that. <laughs> okay. That's just yarn like from the last little while that I've kind of collected and have to put away. So when I really want to buy yarn, all I'm going to do is look at that picture and go, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I put the picture on my phone. Did that picture pop up for everybody? Because I don't even see it. Did everybody see the picture? I don't know why you're not seeing it because. <laughs> because I live in court, right? <laughs> <laughs> the video played okay, okay for me though. Okay. Everybody's. Yes, people have seen it. Yes. Seen it. yes, okay. yes. yes. Okay. And that's only like, that's not, that's not my yarn. That's just the yarn I have to put away. <laughs> so That's new yarn. So, that's new that's, yarn. That's new yarn. Fresh yarn. Fresh. That's not, that yarn hasn't even been aged. That's right. You can't use that yet. <laughs> no. So I got it. Oh, yeah. They saw the picture. So anyway. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> well, I showed you the picture. Oh, yes. I saw the picture. I saw the picture. And Anyways, I have to get that all put away so that two granddaughters can sleep over at the same time. <laughs> the floor of my room down here looks just as bad as that. So... Well, I kept saying before Christmas, I said, I kept saying, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. And now it's after Christmas. So I have to get to it. Uh Oh, Beth says she's not ever owned that much yarn <laughs> in 40 years of knitting, let alone all at one time. Looks heavenly. It is heavenly, but Becky it's, bought uh, it. Sorry. No, go ahead. She bought that. Yeah. I saw that for remix for Fern and Feather. That's what mm. I have, Becky. What I have... color is yours again? Oh. Is it a greeny color? Is it the turquoisey? You bought it. <laughs> you you shopped for it. I bought it. You shopped for it. Um, what's the green color called? If you said it, Becky, I might remember. Because I have the cream, a cream color, and the green. So I think the, did you get the cream or the almond? Almond. Well, it's a okay. cream color, but that the name yes. of it is almond. Yes. 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 And um, well, Becky said she copied you. So whatever yours was, that's what she got. Okay. Oh, Wendy got a gift certificate from Wool and Silk. So, okay. and and Karen says she just just bought yarn from Wool and Silk to do the Gramps cardigan. We need to go back. Sarah okay. made a comment, and it was a good comment. Um, Jennifer Steingas is having a sale on, and it goes Sarah until the end, or not the end of December, but it goes to December thirtieth, and all of her patterns are fifty percent off. So if oh, you're wow. 
looking for a sweater pattern, this is the time. Okay. There we go. Yeah. A sale tomorrow. Does it start tomorrow? Uh, no, it's on now, but it oh, goes until now? December okay. 30th. Okay. And I know this okay. because I got her email. Okay. So. All right there. Oops. That's not going to fit. Oh, I'm going to have to go and look because we have to go and look because we have to do a, we have to do one of her sweaters with our, our, um, these are the perfect little spot. size. They are. I know, I but really, wouldn't you rather have this? <laughs> That's so pretty though. I just couldn't help but think it's of you when I saw I'm it. not going to drink it. Kelly brought me this today. I'm not going to drink it. It's just. You talk about things calling your name. That one was calling out to me because I was in the, uh, it was a couple of weeks ago. We went out to get some things at the liquor store. And as you know, Noel, I've not been, I haven't had a drink in, it'll be, well, it would have been two years in January if I hadn't had a couple this month. Um, so it's been a very long time since I've been in a liquor store and it felt very strange. And I, when we went in there a couple of weeks ago, that's what I said to Mike. I said, this is what it looks like. It's gotten better since I stopped coming here. <laughs> um, no, now they have pretty pink bubbly. <laughs> I know. There was a whole section of pink. And so I walked there in and go. I saw all this pink. They have a huge pink rosé section. And then there's a whole pink holiday section. And I said, okay, Noel needs some of that for sure. <laughs> For sure. Um, okay. So we were going to try to do something else tonight. Now okay. I'm just terrified that's not going to work either. Well, we'll just try. It's not like it's not like other things we've done haven't worked. So, <laughs> so I'm going to try to. Um, we're going to try to have a little giveaway. <laughs> that's what we're going to try to do. And we're going to try to do it on here. So. Okay. Okay. Um, what this will entail is me telling you a word. And then if you are interested in the gift that we're going to give away, and hopefully if it works, we have three gifts to give away tonight. Yep. Um, then you will type in the word that I say. We'll let that go a few minutes while we keep chatting. And then I have like a spinny wheel thing. Okay. <laughs> this is beyond okay. terrifying. Um, okay. So when they type it in, do they just type in like the let word? Me get, let me see if I can get it first, okay? Because I'm kind of nervous that this might not work but we're gonna see you can keep talking until i can manage okay to i can't screen. but i because i'm so excited about this giveaway <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll keep talking i'll keep knitting um michelle says that she's knitted and crocheted so many blankets in the past two years Oh wow, that she's 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 managed to smash her stash. <laughs> now she has a huge supply of blankets. There you go. Nice. I know, you know what? <laughs> and Michelle, I even tried weaving some stuff and I wove some blankets and I still have tons of yarn. So it just means I need to stop buying yarn and using the yarn instead of continuing to buy. Okay. So, so I think I'm ready to do this thing. So the first thing we're gonna do. Um, is one of your tea towels. Okay. Noel makes the most luxurious tea towels you will ever use, ever. It will make you want to do the dishes. And <laughs> I don't know about has, that. <laughs> she has ge very generously donated um, okay. two of her tea towels tonight. So this is the first one. Can you show it so, in a little closer? Can you see that? Here, I'll take it off because I can wrap it back up again. I'll have to be vacuuming. Because I don't think I've it. ever shown. I don't think I've ever shown any of these um, finished. Yes, yeah. I don't think you have. Okay. So there's it's a hound's tooth pattern. This one is um, a cotton linen blend, so it's sixty percent cotton, forty percent linen, and it's kind of like um, a sagey green and a um, an off white. Very so. pretty. Okay, so hopefully this works. Be disappointed if it doesn't. Um, so, are you seeing a different screen now, Noel? Yes, I am. Yep. I'm okay. So giveaway the, tool. The word that everybody will type in if you're interested in a tea towel is holiday. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to start collecting those. Yep. So everybody just, if you, if you want a chance at winning, just type in holiday holiday and 
It should. Okay. I think it's working. Okay. I think I it's, see yep. entries. I see entries. Yep, I see so entries, we're just going to yep. keep talking for a minute as you but, keep yep, So keep, keep entering. We'll give you a couple of minutes and then, yep. um, and then Kelly will do a draw. If this works, it's going to be the works. happiest I've been all day. <laughs> we'll just keep going for a while. Okay. So does it have to stay up on the screen while it's. Um, yeah. I mean, so you, so we can't go back to our screen. Well, I can see you. Well, I can see you too, but like all I see, the biggest part of the screen that I see is just a great big thing that says holiday. I'm afraid to turn it back off again, okay? <laughs> okay, well. Give me a small little bit of courtesy here. Just let them. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I didn't know whether it could still be going on the background and you could bring us back to our screen. I'm afraid to try that, okay? Okay, okay. We're just going to keep okay. going. Okay, well, in the meantime, maybe... <laughs> I will show the yarn I got for Christmas. Well, okay, so I only got a little, I got a little teeny tiny. <laughs> there, can you see that? I can see it. Okay, this is Mondine. Oh, that's nice. I like and that. And so Jacqueline got me this, and the Mondine is the Portuguese wool. So she got me those two, but then I already had one ball of this one in the same color. So I might do a sweater with that. I like I it. I think I, I, I like have it. enough there to do the um, the pink velvet sweater by Andrea Maori. So I might do that. And the Mondim is a sock yarn, but it's 100% Portuguese wool. So there's no nylon in it. It's non-super wash. And I've knit socks with it. And I actually, I love it. It's a wonderful yarn to work with. And it's really cost effective. Um, it, I mean, it, it, it's not merino soft, but it's not, I wouldn't consider it rustic. Like I do consider it's a nice soft yarn. So I would definitely, I definitely recommend it. I like it. Um, I've knit socks in it for people and given it to them and they have washed them and not put them in the dryer and they've been fine. So I think it's a good yarn. So yikes. Okay. Oh, okay. I might just show the yarn again because people can't see it on. Okay. Okay. So I, I think we've got, what is your screen saying for entries? Um, I don't know. It's small. I can't see it. <laughs> Mine says 111. Okay. Okay. So now if I, if I click on the draw, okay, this is what's supposed to happen. Okay. okay. I have 111 entries. Hopefully something happens. Okay. I'm draw. Oh, oh it's doing it. something. Yay. <laughs> It's going slower, slower, slower. Hey, oh, Glenda. there's confetti. <laughs> okay, so Glenda wins the the houndstooth tea towel. Okay, that was super cool. I had so that much was fun. Cool, that was cool. Okay, I'm marking so. this down. We're gonna find more things to give away because that was super fun. Can we go back to big now? There we are. There okay, we are. I'm gonna show the the yarn now. <laughs> big. Okay, <laughs> here's the big yarn. Yeah, so those are really they, like they have color numbers. Now the two the two are different dye lots, and I can see like a little bit of a difference. But I think if I just um, do helical, it'll be okay. So yeah, like it. Noelle's going to pop our email address up here on the screen. I will. Okay, Glenda, if you can just send us by email your um, information, then I will get that mailed out to you. Okay. All the way to Edinburgh. Oh, not that. <laughs> there we go. There. So that's there our email so address. If you just, that's our email address. So if you just email us your at email that address with your address, and we will get the prize sent out to you. So that was fun. That was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy says, wake your husband up. And she says, I did. He's grumpy. He woke me up for a tea towel. <laughs> well, tell him now he gets to dry the dishes. <laughs> tell him you won him a prize. Goodness. That was so fun. Okay. Yeah. Going. Okay. Jackie oh, says, yeah. I look very happy. That's because something happened and it worked, Jackie. And there's uh, there's sparkling wine involved. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to show this. Okay. 
Okay, look at oh, this. Oh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> it's so awesome. This was, Kelly made me this for Christmas. So it's an absolutely amazing knitting bag. It's got pockets in the front, which will hold a bottle of wine. <laughs> well. So it's got three pockets in the front. It's got a big pocket at the back that's actually got a magnetic closure. So if you put something in it, for sure, it's going to stay there. And then lots of room, lots of room inside. So it could be your, your project bag that you could take other like little project bags in it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So, and nice, perfect to hang over your shoulder. Anyway, love it. Thanks. Thanks so much, Kelly. You're welcome. So your really sewing like is too, amazing. So there might end up being a second bag just like it because and as i was nice making it i love it it's clean it's and like fabric a and, canvas yeah yeah so nice beautiful so okay yeah thank you and then and then i have a couple of skeins in here this is really <laughs> already filling it out i am oops here so this yarn is i don't know if you can see the color this yarn put your hand from... behind it it's not uh focusing better no i don't know why just back it up then, I guess. It's not pulling into autofocus. Or at least it's not for me. It might be for everybody no, else. No, it doesn't look know. like it is. Anyways, it is, um, it's Kiviet, and it is, this blend is 15% Kiviet, or sorry, 80% Merino, and 5% Mulberry Silk. And it's so soft. It's lace weight, and I've got a couple of them. So I have enough to make a shawl, but it's just it's so soft. Like, the Kiviet is just... It doesn't feel like butter, <laughs> but it feels soft. <laughs> so. I was trying to get back into that thing to set up another one, and now I can't seem to get in there. Okay. I will figure it out. You keep trying. I'll keep trying. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks, May. It is an awesome bag. Emily said she got a beautiful carpet bag for Christmas that she uses for a knitting bag. It's sturdy and pretty. I know it's like it's like it's kind of like yarn, right? You can keep collecting knitting bags, but it's so nice to have a, a separate bag to put your projects in. And it's nice to have one like that. So like even when we go knit under the bridge, because you don't necessarily know what you want to knit on when you get there. It's nice to throw a couple of projects in and bring a couple of things. Or even in the car. I don't always know what I'm going to want to knit on in the car. So that's right, Julie. It's as soft as a baby's skin. There we go. I like that analogy better. <laughs> Not like butter? Not like butter. So. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. Okay, so Emily said it's from Max Max Car Carpet Bag Works. Max Carpet. I'll put it up there. Whoops. I guess I have to turn the other one off. There we go. <laughs> Did you see Amanda's comment? <laughs> Quickest way to clean yarn off the bed is that bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Then I just got to knit them. Okay. So Petra wanted to know if anybody had a good idea to use an advent and something that doesn't involve lace so i've never done an advent because i never have time at that time of the year to do something but and has anybody else have any ideas on what you could do with your advent that doesn't involve lace i think the one wasn't the one blanket by um oh, who is it by curious handmade right helen stewart i can't remember the name of it there was a there was a throw blanket and i didn't think that it had lace in it so that would be, I can't remember the name of it. I'm sure someone here must have done it. So anybody have any ideas? In the meantime, um, Maria wanted to know who makes the yarn. So this Kiviet is from, it's Q-I-V-I-U-K, Q and it was from Windy Valley Muskox. So... Windy Valley muskox, 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 muskox for the Kiviet. And Ju Julia and a couple of people have said that one throw that I was talking about by Helen Stewart was the habitation throw. 
And I know a lot of people have made that and I don't think that there's any lace in it. So, oh, and Sue says, how about the Penguano by Stephen West? And I think in that one, you um, actually combine a lot of your yarns so that it's marled. So that would be a good one to use it up into. Um, a vest, lots of people say habitation throw. Uh, Antonia says she hasn't made one, but if you like cardigans, there's the Radvent cardigan by Amber O'Brien. And Gail sells she's knitting the Huga and Hearth scarf cowl from Bumblebee Acres. And now it's just got an eyelet row between the colors, but that could be that could be eliminated if you didn't want to do the eyelet. So anyways, did you figure it out, Kelly? Uh, hmm. No. Does it only let, let you do it once per? No. It's because it got <laughs> disconnected and now I can't, uh, darn it. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. I'm not giving up. Okay. Don't give up. Even though okay. I'm having a hot flash and this hat's pretty warm. I know. So am I. I have my slippers off. Like I have bare feet. <laughs> I'm going to have to start peeling the pajamas off. Woo. Okay. Oh, Kathy, that's a good idea. The sea glass tea, because the sea glass tea uses lots of binnies. So that's a good one to use up your advent. Um, ooh, Kim, postage to Australia from Max Carpet Bags is over $100. That's that's a lot. So, um, And Cindy says that she likes the cracked glass scarf for Advent minis. Elaine says the snuggle down cowl or scattered petals cowl. Oh, Becky says love cracked glass. I don't know that one. I'm going to have to look that one up. But yeah, so it looks like there's lots of ideas here. And I mean, you could always do scrappy socks too, right? With, um, so... Anyway, again, I never have any, I never have an advent, so I've never really looked at it. And although realistically, when I've got all my yarn up there and after all my socks, you've got all these leftover, mm -hmm. you know, like between, that are probably even bigger than minis, right? Because they're probably between 20 to 30 grams, all of them. And I'm not just going right. to, I'm not going right. to just get rid of them, but nope. I do nope. something with them. So. Socks are fun though. Scrappy socks. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. I think I have it ready. Okay. So this time, <laughs> this prize is some yarn, yarn prize. Um, this is a sock set from oh, it's so pretty. Benta. Our Benta, which is Art of Crafts. Uh, she's from Norway. So this yarn came from Norway, and now I'm going to send it back out into the world. And the colorway is Glam Rock. And I love. And look at, that. like, look at that pink and that gray. It's beautiful. <laughs> Um, so it's a Poldale sock. It's 80-20 Poldale, 20% nylon. So this is 70 grams, this one here. And then you have... 20? No, isn't that 70 total, a 50 and a 20? Yes, it's 70 total. I think total. it's 70 total. Yeah. <laughs> My math is off when I drink the bubbly too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is um, this is the next prize. Let me see if I can do this. You need to take Julia's comment off. Okay. And I have to get in and share the next. Do I need to one. take that off too? Yes, just for now. Okay. Because it's going to put okay. us to small people again. Okay. Can I do this? This is so stressful. <laughs> well, if we don't try things new, it's a lot less stressful now that I'm drinking the champagne though, Kelly. Oh, goodness. Now there's two under the same name. Okay. If the, this may or may not be the right word. Don't type yet. Nope. That's not it. Okay. Well, they can't type because we didn't tell them what to type. <laughs> yes. So, okay. Do you see something up there now? I do. I do. Okay. So the new word is party. P-A-R-T-Y. And. Partay. Partay. <laughs> you start typing that in. 
We're going to talk some more. We're going to let some comments accumulate. So if the yarn is something you're interested in, start typing party and we'll give that oh. one away. Yay. This Yay. is so much fun. <laughs> oh, no, I have to do something. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You, if you've already typed it in, you might need to start again. Yeah, type it in, type it in again because it'll, 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 it'll be, it'll be, so anyway, don't worry about that. That's right. Yeah. So type it in again if you didn't type it before it said party on the screen. It's a good thing somebody's not paying us to do this, Noel, because we would be fired <laughs> by now. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Cape Six. Holy crow, what a party. You're right about that. It's, it's a, it's a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> I know in more ways than one <laughs> more ways than one we're a hot mess but we are having fun it doesn't matter That's I have right. a new appreciation for uh Chip and Aaron when they run the bingo we're just I trying to give away three... I cannot I can not imagine yeah we're just trying to give away three little prizes here and we're struggling so but we're having fun uh oh do you see an error an error where? I have something that says an error occurred. Please don't be an error. Okay, do they have to type again? No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. We're just gonna let that sit there and stew for a bit and hopefully, I don't know, it's uh, it's buffering. Oh, okay. We may be well, a one hit see. wonder. We may be a one hit wonder. <laughs> at, least we got, at least we got one of them. We got one of them done. <laughs> This is soul sucking work when my internet doesn't work. I'm sorry. It's depra it's it takes all the fun out of the party. You guys just keep typing party. Party, party, party. Party, party. No. <laughs> oh goodness. Do you think it, do you think it's not doing something? Yeah, I think it's not. Um It's that tab on my computer is just buffering, which means my internet is uh, falling behind again. That's what that okay. means. Okay. And the little refresh thing isn't even there. I should have asked Santa for some internet in court, right? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, it's too late to do it now, but maybe what if we had have done it from this end with my internet? I don't know if I can <laughs> teach you how to do it while we're live. It's a little tricky. Well, I don't mean on the live, but I mean next time we do it. Yes. Well, if, if we don't get this working, we'll get it working. And we might not be able to do it tonight. That's all. So, But the first one worked so well. It was so I know fun. it did. I know it did. Okay. There's a refresh now. Okay. If I just let that page load, it's not loading though. I'm sure this is making for riveting knitting riveting entertainment. entertainment. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So in the meantime, keep knitting. <laughs> keep knitting. Yes. And snacking and, I'll, and drinking. And I'll, and and I'll, doing I'll all pick your up things. my muscle bro, even though I think I dropped it. <laughs> I did drop it. I'll just keep knitting this. Anyway, so uh, people, what, it, what it, does anybody have some future knitting plans for 2022 or things that they want to try that they haven't done before? Okay, back to us, Kelly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm going to try something else. Okay. Don't worry, anybody that's entered, it's still going to collect your word. That's for sure. Okay. Okay, yeah. So anybody um, got some new plans for 2022? Or new things that they're going to try. Oh, brioche, someone said. Yeah, that's a great one. Oh, Julia, socks. Yes, that's amazing. 
and that you're going to do a cardigan. Um, oh, Sharon, she want to cast on the winter light. That's that's an awesome. That's the sweater by Hohe, I think. Right. That is an awesome sweater. Okay, it's up there. Maybe you do have to type in again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just keep typing. Keep typing. Just keep typing. Just keep typing. Party okay. again. <laughs> Why didn't you knit me a fan? Literally. So next, this next is time, a, Kelly. This is a oh, Kathy sticking your card again. That's what she's gonna do. That's what I want to do. That's what I have to do because that's the point I'm at in my yell cardigan. Maybe I should seek it on the podcast. No, I don't think I'm that brave. <laughs> That would be bad. That would be bad. I'm not going to do that. But maybe I should get Ross to film me cutting it. So we will see. So what about you, Kelly? Are you trying anything new in 2022? Um, <clears throat> other than another internet provider? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we could do a cow that was new in 2022. New in 2022. What's new in 2022? That would be a good idea. Actually, yeah. that would be a really good idea. Um, I'm sure there's like just something that's new to you. You know, whether it be a cardigan or Julia's going to knit her first socks, whether it's brioche, steaking, um, double knit. What are some other things that a lot of people haven't done lace or cables or color work socks mm -hmm. or color work or mosaic? You know, it just depends on what's new to you. Bobbles, maybe you've never done bobbles before. I don't know. I was trying to think, I was trying to think of, like, I've done a lot of, of I haven't tried that dip stitch. That kind of looks a little bit like crocheted. I haven't tried that and it looks kind of interesting. So I might try that. Um, definitely, I haven't steeped for a long time. So that's going to be. That's and I'm trying the felt. I'm trying to felt the steak as opposed to enforcing it doing the stitching. Right. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, someone just said the boho's bo I really want to do that too, but the kits are so expensive. Petra said the boho's stickening a sweater. And that is there was mm -hmm. a sweater on there that that I just love, but the price of the yarn and the cost of shipping, it's just and you can't get a lot of the patterns without buying the yarn with it. You know, because I could probably adapt and use yarn here, but it's just, oh, it's so expensive, but I would love to try one of those. So you never know, maybe at some point. So. It does not appear to be working. <sighs> because it's not moving. It still says 23 entries, right? And I know you have all type oh, no, party. Tons. That's right. There was multiple, multiple times. Hmm. Yeah. So sorry, everybody. I think, I think we're going to have to do something else. Because okay, well, how else could we do it? I don't know. Maybe what we will do is, uh, yeah, it's spinning again. Okay. I'm sorry. We're just going to remove that and that and that. Um, maybe what we'll have to do is a, uh, comment down below and then we will have a YouTube, a YouTube picker, a com a YouTube comment picker. So, um, after we're finished, I guess, if you want to go below the video and type in the word party, <laughs> since you're also good at it now. Uh, type in the word party. We will use just a random, or it doesn't have to be the word party. Type anything you like down below. Yep. And uh, we'll use a random comment. But they picker. have to do that after the video goes up. After the video goes live. Yes. 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 Uh, Jan, that's a great idea. Change the word to frustrating. That might work better. That, that might work. That might work. Well, we might as well, since we've, since we've got everybody on here now, we might as well tell them too, we've got another prize. So if they go in and, and just enter a comment after we'll draw the two different prizes. We'll draw two prizes. Yep. Yes. That's so frustrating. The first one was so okay, much fun. And because all you guys know, and before, 
before you know anybody else watches it that's not been because it was basically for the people that are tuned in here so so do it right after and we will do we'll do the draw thing tomorrow morning yes that's a good idea okay so that it's not after everybody's watched that because these are supposed to be on. pj party prizes that's right yes okay so the second the next prize too is another tea towel so this one is so pretty so pretty. this one is a log cabin pattern and I and was it, lucky enough to get one of these this year for Christmas. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's it's much prettier in person. So so and it's it's 100 percent cotton. The pattern almost looks 3D when you see it. It does. It does. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. So once the video goes live, just go in, type in any comment you want, and then we'll cut it off tomorrow morning, say at nine o'clock. Yep. Because that's enough time for everybody here to go in and do it. And then we'll draw um We'll draw two prizes from that. And um, when you come back next week, we'll let the winners know. Yes, but you'll still have to email us. So take a take a yes. note down of our email yeah. address. And yeah, we'll let everybody know next week yep. who the winner was. And well, I think we can uh, probably, and it, we can probably respond to the comment on YouTube, but I know those sometimes get mixed, missed, but we will do that. But then we'll also tell you next week in yes yes on the, on the don't net. don't put your information below no, don't the video. put your you don't put your address or anything in there no. so. so okay well that was Anyways, fun well, it would have been fun if it had not have worked but oh well. well we'll figure it out we'll get it done we were trying we'll something to, we'll just have to do them more often so that we get more used to it yeah well no it wasn't um it wasn't that we were supposed to um we we're trying to stream at a higher definition tonight too. And I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Like um, just to get it to look a little bit better for you. Um, so mm -hmm. we were trying to stream in a full 1080p and it's, and that might, maybe that's, maybe it's too much. It was the internet. <laughs> it was the perfect storm of way too many things happening on one night. Yep. I think that's what it is, but that's okay. We're still here. It's all good. It's all good. Um, on fruity Food. knitting. Yes, Jackie uh, was saying that's that's amazing. There was a um a calf facet was part two it was recently posted and under the knitters of the world part, the woman did fair isle fingerless glove and steaked just the thumb. I guess that would be not as scary as steaking a whole mm -hmm, sweater. Mm -hmm. But the first time I steaked, I was terrified. And it was just on a little it was on a small sweater. Uh, I shouldn't say the first time, the one and only time I steaked, the one and only time. And um, it was on a child's sweater and I was really nervous to do it because you're just not supposed to cut your knitting. Like, no, that's, you know, we're just taught not to cut knitting. And yeah. um, it was pretty scary, but it turned out beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so. Karen says our PJ pictures broke the internet. <laughs> That's what it is, that's it. Karen. That's what it is. That's what it is. Those knitters and their PJs, <laughs> they broke the internet. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're still having fun. You guys are the best. Anyway, okay. Barbara says that she can't get her muscle burrow started. Any tips? Now, both Kelly and I started ours differently. I did, I did a pinhole cast on, and you did something different. You did like a crochet start, right? Um, the magic circle? No, the pinhole used the crochet, didn't okay. it? The one I did was just where I you, didn't use a you crochet. Just take your yarn and you didn't use a crochet hook? Well, maybe I did then. Wow, I'm getting tested with all the tough questions tonight. Did I, so did I know I? that I just made like a loop like this, right? Like a loop. Right. And you're right. I did crochet. Did I? Cro I didn't crochet. Did I? Oh, maybe I use the crochet hook. You use it. The pinhole <laughs> cast on is the crochet, crochet hook. Okay. So what did you do then? Because I, I know we did the, something different. Yeah. Because you, you, I couldn't use the crochet hook because mine all have those bumper bottoms okay, and it's too big yes. to get through. Yeah, That's right. Okay. Woo. Okay. <laughs> so I just made the loop like this with my, with my yarn, right? Like the circular loop. And then you start casting on your stitches as regular on the loop. And then when you have, and they're going to be loose and don't even worry about them. You just get them on. And I was putting on, um, I did it over four needles. So what is the cast on? Just eight stitches, wasn't it? I'm mm -hmm. trying to think. So I just cast on two on one needle, two on the next needle. And then when you're all done, I knit 
those stitches. And then all you do is you just pull these yarns like this and you see how the loop sort of disappears as you're pulling and then yep. it pulls the stitches in really tight. So if you looked up, um, I think it was called disappearing loop cast on okay. very pink knits had a, um, had a tutorial that was fairly easy to do. Uh, the crochet hook method that you use Noel would have worked great. As I said, it's just, I didn't have the, yeah, the, crochet the right hook, hook that, for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a comment here. Barb says that she heard that tin can knits has an awesome pin hole cast on tutorial. Uh, okay. And that's what she plans on using. So yeah. So if you go in and look at some tutorials, I know I had to look at a tutorial because I'd never done it before. I can't remember which one that I looked at. And that says she cast on the same way that you did Kelly. Okay. Yes. Very pink knits. That's I'm positive. That's the tutorial I watched. Yep. And Peggy said she just cast on eight stitches and joined in the round. Because realistically, even if you do that, even if you've got a little tiny bit of a, a pinhole there at the top of it, you're sticking one end of the hat in the other. Right. 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 It's not going to be, it's not going to be noticeable. Yeah. Especially so if, if you're, especially if you're on a fine weight yarn, like a fingering weight yarn. Right. Right. So if you weren't entirely thrilled with it, you could put that as your inside of your cast yes. on and then your, yep. uh, your, your bind off will be of course tighter. It was, yeah, and Rose said that's what she did too. So yeah, and to be honest, I mean, it was still fiddly, even yeah. because you know it's it's thinner yarn. Like I was using fingering weight yarn, so it was still fiddly, even with the other cast on method that I used. But you know, I I got through it. Yeah, it was a lot of fiddling for eight little stitches. That's yeah. what it was. <laughs> but Amanda says good. she has to go. So bye, Amanda. Bye, Amanda. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Oh. oh, Marnie said she made a sweater a year ago and she still hasn't steaked it. She's too scared. You do I'm it, not, though. I, I guess the Let's thing is, it. like, when you steak a sweater, like, when you do any other sweater, if you do it and you don't like it, you can rip it all out, right, and make something else. If you steak a sweater, <laughs> you pretty much, that's it. You have cut your yarn. I think that's a big part of the scariness in it, right? It's basically, yeah. if it's, it's, and I mean, it's not, your, your knitting does not want to unravel this way. Like when knitting unravels, it's it's down, right? Like a drop stitch. Mm -hmm. So if you've got, um, especially if you've got a rusticky kind of sticky yarn, yes, that yarn doesn't want to separate. But I know, I know it's scary, and I know again, I like, I haven't, I'm not scared to do mine. I just haven't got there yet. But I am really interested in trying the the felting. So I'm gonna get that out this week, I think, and see. I used uh, a crochet hook to stabilize my stick. Okay. Um, I wanted it that way. I wanted the the um, the crochet, and I actually even did it in a contrasting color, so yep. that when I flipped it back in and stitched it behind that crochet, that little bit of a binding chain stitch is is it's right there on the inside of the sweater, so it shows. And I yep. I was wanting that. Yep. So, well, yes, and where, Julia, <laughs> where mine goes, watching. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up, and it's kind of like a facing. So you kind of knit out for your band, but then you knit around like it's got a facing on the band. Mm -hmm. And then that facing is going to get sewed down over the steak. Like it's going to get tacked down over the steak. So you're not going to see the steak. And if you have a, you can also do the sewn steaking, like where you just stabilize, yes. um, you yep. can use a sewing machine and you just like stitch down both sides of your steak. And then when you flip it in, you are going to have that rough edge. But what a lot of knitters like to do, and I have actually some beautiful ribbon from Norway for yes. this too, is some people like to then hand stitch. And I've done this with another sweater too. Just hand stitch that ribbon to the inside of the button band. And then that's just yet another way to finish And it also gives your button band some stability from not stretching out too. Yes, absolutely. So, but yeah, um, I mean, I used to steak, I used to steak um, actual pullovers um back when the kids were little and i'd steak the armholes because you'd be knitting like an all a fair aisle all in the round and you get to the armhole so that you didn't have to go back and forth i just right. do the steak there but i hardly cast on any stitches in the middle and the steak the yarn that i did it in was like it was actually philosopher's yarn which is pretty similar to briggs and little so yeah. it's pretty rustic and it's stuck together and I, I all the sweaters i did i never had a problem with anything coming undone and i can remember doing steaking a cardigan for a friend and it was a pullover that they'd made and then wanted into a cardigan. So there weren't even any steaking stitches. No. And I just sew that the two sides and then cut 
up the middle and it turned out fine. And I mean, what you can do too, is you can always pick up your stitches for the bands first before you cut. So then you've got even mm -hmm. that little bit of extra reinforcement. Mm -hmm. So, um, Somebody was asking if we used a pattern for the hats or if you used a pattern for the hats yes. that you knit for us. And yes, the pattern is the Christmas elf hat by Fox and Pine and it's a free pattern. And it goes all the way from, I think, zero Maybe. to three months up yep. to an adult pattern. So it's, uh, and it was. And the only thing that I did different, cool. um, when Kelly did the baby one for Miles, she did her color stripes were four rows and four rows. Yes. And the adult one, I just went up to six rows and six rows. So it's a little thicker. Yeah. Yep. But so cute. Yeah. But super easy. Mm -hmm. Hat to make and it's air and weight so it doesn't and take. it's soft it's really soft it is actually yeah and it's warm <laughs> and we both well we we both did this you did the tubular cast on too didn't you yes yes yep. and that's what I did on Miles hat as well just so that that's not what it calls for in the pattern she just talked about a regular cast on but that's up to you you're the you're the boss of your knitter you can do whatever you want but yep. um I like the way that it just sort of rolls off yep. the needle. So that's what I did. And then of course you did that too, because, yep. and actually yours is twisted rib too, isn't it? I can feel yep. it. Yeah. It is. I didn't rib. do twisted rib. And then know, I put We all know how I feel about that. You don't like twisted rib? It takes or you don't like doing twisted rib? I love the way it looks. I don't like doing it. I actually, and then oh, I didn't our, bring them down. I did twisted pom -poms. rib. Go ahead. You did twisted rib? I just did twisted rib on a pair of socks, my Christmas oh. cast on socks. Okay. Um, and they have beads and twisted rib, but carry on okay. your pom poms. Oh, I was going to say our, our pom poms, Kelly's and mine. I just, so the, put the pom pom in through and put it through a button and tied it on that way. When we want to wash the hat, you can just take the pom pom off. I think you said for miles, you just sewed it on because he's going to yeah. grow out of it before it needs gonna to grow be. out of it. Yeah. Yeah. But ours will probably get put away for next year and for next year's pajama, pajama party. party. Yeah. Oh, I might wear it more often than that. I think I will too. I actually like it. And you know how I don't really like hats on my head, but I don't mind this one. And it's, well, I'm in the house, but it's pretty warm in here. Yep. So. <sighs> okay. And what Deborah, yes, you're right. The ribbon gives a really nice finishing touch on the inside of a cardigan. Oh, Julie Susan says she hasn't heard of needle felting this deacon. Susan, I had not heard of that either. I think the first time I might've heard of it was, someone talking about it on this podcast so then I went and google if you google the it, very next day the very next day and then I bought the ste the needle felting thing um yeah if you go to YouTube and just um type in felting a steak you'll find some awesome tutorials on it I haven't done it yet but I'm I'm gonna get that out and do it this week so I can show you next week so I'm gonna felt the steak down the center of my yell and get moving on that because I really do want to get it done Somebody was asking, okay, I don't know if I can get to it. This is a book I like. Oh, the hat name. Um, Kelly, what was the hat name? And I'll type it in. The Christmas Elf Cap. Somebody was okay. talking about a, asking about a book for um, knitting socks and uh, sort of making up a sock recipe that fits your foot perfectly. This is a book that I really like. It's by Clara Parks. It's called The Knitter's Book of Socks. And she gives lots of insight into how socks are constructed, why they fit, why they don't fit, why particular elements will or will not work for you, such as, you know, like an afterthought heel, um, the heel flap and gusset, like different techniques. And she talks about, um, there's even charts in here on how to properly measure a foot. And um, just trying to think, I don't want to, I was just looking for the sort of the chart, but it's not coming to me right away. But anyway, along with all of that education on socks, I think there are also maybe like 20 pairs of socks, maybe. And it's for new sock knitters and longtime sock knitters alike. So it was, again, the um, the Knitter's Book of Socks by Clara Parks. So if you're looking for sort of a learning book, this is a really good one. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so Heather said she steeped her first sweater this year. It was the Maya cardigan. And she did sew with her machine first. And then she did use a needle to felt it a little bit. She said it was a little scary, but it was fine. She did it. And Marianne suggested earlier that we have a gauge swatch steak party, a steak along. A steak along. Well, we did, you know, I did a, I did a class with um, Caitlin Hunter at a, at a knitting retreat that I went to. And what she had to do for the steak was you actually made like a little, um, it was like a little coffee mug rug, mm -hmm. right? So you knit it, you knit it in around, you put your steaking stitches in, and then we cut it there and then you put a couple of buttons on. Yeah. But that way it was a good practice to do it. And yeah, it was fun. And we did the crochet steak there where we crocheted it before we yeah. cut it. So yeah. Michelle has to go. Her cat's crying for a snack. Okay. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Thanks for joining year. us. That's right. See you next year. That's right. <laughs> it will be into next year. We're going to have to change our hashtag. Okay. Barb says, will we be able to announce the winners another way? She's back to work next Tuesday and she can't attend. Well, but even if you're not there, Barb, it'll still be on. So if you go back and if you go back and look at it after, your name will still be there. So it doesn't matter that you're not right there in the live the live chat. Plus we will also respond to the comment. Yes. So you, you'll you kind of have to go back and look at your comment to see if there was a response to it. Yeah. So, and we, like, I will, I will make a slide up that we will show in yeah, here next week. Yeah, yeah. So you'll be able to see it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? We should talk. We have 225 people in here tonight. Yeah. My goodness. You know what? It was probably the hook. Somebody saw a PJ party on the internet. And they, thought, <laughs> they didn't know what they were getting into. They thought it, they'd actually be organized. <laughs> Anyways, we, we should talk we about, we should talk about, you still got till the end of the year, you've still got a few days to get any more pairs of socks in there that you might have. And we looked today, what was our number at? Oh, it was like 1578. I think when we looked when you were over, it could be more now. I don't know. And so, we were but, worried that... Well, that we wouldn't we get were to hopeful that we were going to get to 1500 and then you went over and above like that's fantastic right. fantastic so that sock knit along is going on um so we will actually draw another two prizes a pattern prize and a sock prize for the end of the year so you've got till the end of december 31st to get your socks in there for this year and then we will we are i think for sure going to run that again next year absolutely yeah because we have to get yeah. 22 22 pairs of socks in 2022 mm-hmm so, so yes. we will do that next year. We've also got another um, knit along going on, and that is our WWWKNP Mal. So that is our warm winter, winter, winter woolly, woolly knit yes. along. So that is any outdoor winter accessory that you knit, and it goes on until the end of January 2022. So you still got lots of time to get things in there. There's, there's, I think there was like the 280 or something finished objects in there already. Mm -hmm. Like, that's amazing. That's amazing. I so, know. but it can be like mitts, fingerless mitts, hats, gloves, scarves, cowls, shawls, um, leg warmers, no socks, no sweaters. Yeah. So we're, we're interested in seeing everything that everybody's making. There's a good place to put in. You could do like scrappy mitts or a scrappy <laughs> scarf or a scrappy cowl. Kim says so. she's in there and it's 1589. So there have oh, been wow. even just wow. more since we looked this afternoon. That's awesome. Prolific knitters, all of you. And it's yep. been so fun to see what you've been able to accomplish this year. I mean, did you think when you joined these sock alongs that there'd be, you know, 16 I did not think, I there. did not think there'd be that many pairs in there but that yeah. is awesome it's been a really good year and somebody yeah. um Barb says that our our YouTube subscribers are up we are we're up to 3.2 or 3,200 subscribers and um so if you're enjoying these please give a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. You'll get the notifications. There's a little bell on the side if you want to uh, get notifications of when we're going to go live uh, or mm -hmm. when we have a new podcast out. We try to get like a um, a regular episode up once a month. Although we did manage to get two out in this past month. We're like, yep, that was tough for me, but we did that, and um, we're just having a lot of fun hanging out with everybody. Yeah. And uh, every time we get, you know, a new little subscriber bump, then 
that's new people to learn, uh, new people to welcome. Well, new names to learn, new people yeah. to welcome into the knitterhood. And but yeah, uh, but we're like, we're yeah. so excited to you. We, we had people that have knit their first socks this year. Like, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's, I don't know. Like, don't you think like socks just opens up a whole new world because like you can take them everywhere with you. Everywhere. An awesome gift. Mm -hmm. Like everybody loves getting them. Like I'm actually doing a pair right now for my daughter-in-law's friend and she's going to bake for me. <laughs> Because she is like an amazing like cake baker and cookie baker. And nice. She made some making macarons, so we're going to trade. But it, it's just, yeah, it's awesome. Jess says she's done 22 pairs. 22 pairs. That's awesome, Jess. And Deborah has knitted 15 pairs, but she hasn't entered any. Get them well, in there, Deborah. Put them Enter in. them. You've got it till the 31st. <laughs> There's prizes. No. There's more yep. prizes. And you yep. don't have to type anything to win the prize. You just have to knit. <laughs> oh, Beth has to go. So bye, Beth. Happy bye, New Beth. Year. We'll see, you next. we'll see you next year. That's right. And thank you for sending in a photo too, Beth. That was lovely. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But well, yeah. So, yeah. So we encourage everybody to try socks because, and they're, you know, they're always, you go to a, um, a knitting festival and there's always that one skein of yarn that you find that you just fall in love with the colors. You might not necessarily want a sweater in it, but it's perfect for a pair of socks. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, sadly, it's time to put a wrap on the night. And the yeah. year, really. And the year, I know. The year. So we'll be a we'll be we'll be a year older. <laughs> oh, I don't like to think of it in those terms, Kelly. <laughs> I got a year more knitting done. <laughs> Look we'll at a, it in those terms. <laughs> we'll be a year wiser. Mm -hmm. We have a year more knitting experience. <laughs> Heather said this was only her second year knitting socks and she knit 16 pairs. Wow, wow. that is awesome, Heather. Wow. I know, like a lot of people think that they're intimidating, but they're really not once you get once you get on to doing them. And they're so, fun because you can are. do like different patterns, different heel types. Yep. Um, you can switch things up. You can buy yarns, like something like this that does the work for you, creates well, the yeah, pattern. Or like, like mine is they're sparkly because you might not wear a whole sparkly sweater, but you might like a sparkly pair of socks. Yes, your feet might so. want to sparkle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. So. And... You can get little glimpses of the socks. Um, some people wear sort of shoes that show yeah. off the socks. Yes. Uh, you can wear your jeans cuffed up a little bit to show them off. But yeah, I wear, so mine, much with, fun. I wear mine with my um, Birkenstocks. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes. Or you wear them with the top out of your blendstones up over your jean leg. So. That's what I like to do. Yeah. Yeah. And lots of jeans yeah. are short on me. So that's not a fashion statement. That's just the way they come short. Well, <laughs> I do it. So because my jeans are I bet too you long. Don't have, you don't I have that problem. The, I can tuck the excess jean material down into my socks. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. Well, now we're just babbling. Endlessly yes. babbling. But yeah. so appreciate everybody that showed up tonight. We, yeah, there's lots of people. 223 people. That's more than That's a regular awesome. Tuesday night. You We'd guys have to amazing. like rent a big coffee shop for us all to get together. <laughs> I know we do. And I hope, I hope, well, we talk about this a lot, but we're going to um, do a little bit of on the road traveling to some other areas here, even just in Ontario. Yep. So we're hoping to connect with um, some of you. We'll give advance warning. Yep. That yep. rolling through your town but yeah it yep. would be lovely to meet people in person and I have to say even just to get the photos because sometimes you know like we can all see the little um avatars yeah of people yeah. on here and lots of people have photos but I mean they're teeny teeny tiny right. and I, yep. I have a big screen and it's still teeny tiny so it's um it was so nice to see pictures and you all looked so happy in your pictures yes. too that yep. was the thing so yep. okay Okay, All right. So, well, let's let's cheers our way out. Do you have anything right. left or did you bring that bottle dry? I'm gone. <laughs> There's a little a little a little jab, a little dribble. So happy new year, everybody. Happy new year. Happy knitting. And we will see you all next year. Next cheers. week. Next week. Next cheers. year. Next That's year, nice. but next week. Next yes, Tuesday. Next, week, next year. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Oh, there. <laughs> there. Cheers. Clink, clink.